Welcome back to our new video tutorial in statistics. And our lesson for this video is understanding C-scores. So, ano ba yung C-scores? So, C-scores are the standard score that represents how far is a given score from the mean of the given data. So, yung C-score ang nagpapakita kung gaano kalayo, gaano kataas, o gaano kababa from the mean of the given normal distribution. Then, before we go on with the Z-score proper, so let's review again, what do we mean by a normal curve? So, a normal curve is the graph that represents a normal distribution. So, a normal distribution is a normally distributed probability. So, pagka sinabing normally distributed probabilities, mm -hmm. so half of the given probability are higher than the mean, and half of the probabilities are lower than the mean. And the center of the curve pertains to the mean of the probabilities. So, or the measures of central tendency, it can be the mean, it can be the median, or the mode. Pero syempre, mas madalas natin gagamitin yung mean. So, and then, this normal distribution is represented by a bell-shaped curve, also known as the normal curve. So, yung normal curve natin ang nag represents ng ating normal distribution. So, example of normally distributed probability. So, we have the probability of the sum enrolling to dice. So, kung magpapagulong daw ako ng dalawang dice, so ito yung mga possible probability na makukuha natin. So, a sum of 2, that is 1 over 36. A sum of 3, 2 over 36. A sum of 4, 3 over 36. A sum of 5, 4 over 36. A sum of 6, 5 over 36. Sum of 7, 6 over 36, and so on. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, ilang kombinasyon daw sa dalawang dice na yun yung pwedeng mag-produce ng sum of 2. So, yun lang yung 1 and 1. So, isa lang siya out of the 36 combinations. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung given uh, table of probabilities natin is normally distributed. So, we have the center of the distribution, which is 7, sum of 7, and that is 6 over 36. Half of the probabilities are higher than the sum of 7. So, we have 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And half of the probabilities is lower than the sum of 7. So, those are 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. So, the center of the distribution will represent the mean of the given uh, probability distribution. And then, so half or 50% of the probabilities are lower than the mean. So, those are the sum of 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. And half of the distribution, or 50% of the probabilities, are higher than the mean. So those are the sum of 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So therefore, this given example of probability distribution is a normal distribution. So normal distribution siya. Kasi kalahate mas mataas sa mean, kalahate mas mababa sa mean. Then yung mean natin, yung merong pinakamataas na probability that will represent the central peak of the curve. So, siya yung gitna ng curve. Siya yung pinakamataas na part ng curve natin. So, kung igagrap natin yung ating normally distributed probability, which is the sum, on, the sum, the probability of the sum in rolling two dice, so, ganito yung magiging itsura ng graph niya. So, yung sum of 7 yung pinakamataas. So, and then we have the sum of 2, 1 over 36, para ho lang siya ng probability ng sum of 12, 1 over 36 also. Yung sum naman of 5, sum of 5, 4 over 36, kamukha lang siya ng probability of the sum of 9, 4 over 36 din. So, therefore, equal yung left side at saka yung right side ng ating probability distribution. So, kung mapapansin, parang pyramid siya. So, ngayon, gagawin natin siyang normal curve. So, pag ginawa natin normal curve yan, so ganito yung itsura niyan. It will be represented by a bell-shaped curve. So, let's have now the definition of the Z-score. The Z-score is also called as a standard score that gives us the idea of how far from the mean a data point is. So, gaano kalayo ba yung isang score from the mean? So, more technically, it is, measure, it is a measure of how many standard deviations below or above the mean a raw score is. 
So, yan ang pinapakita natin kay C-score. Ilang standard deviation ba? Or gaano kalayo ba mas mataas o mas maliit sa mean yung mga given scores natin? So, example, ito yung ating normal distribution. So, given are the raw scores. So, yung mga raw scores na ito, i-convert natin into C-scores. And these are the C-scores. So, we have st standard division of 1, 2, and 3. Standard division of negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, yung nasa right side, mas mataas sa mean. Yung nasa left side, mas maliit sa mean. So, yan ang ating mga Z-scores. And also, the Z-score of 0 is equal to the mean of the distribution. Okay, so example, how to use the Z-score table. So, kailangan meron tayong Z-score table. So, pwede naman tong i-download from the internet. So, we have the C-score, which is our first row and the first column. Yan ang C-score natin. For example, kailangan ko ng data for 0 0.32. So, yung 0 0.3 at saka yung 0 0.02. Yan yung 0 0.32. So, anyway, so let's have our example here. So, what is the probability or the area of the Z-score? Z is equal to 1.54. So, kung 1.54 daw yung aking Z-score, ano yung probability niya? So, meron tayong standard. Sabi nga natin kanina, di ba? Meron tayong standard distribution. So, merong standard value yung Z-score na 1.54. So, you will go back at the table. Puntahan yung table. Hanapin nyo yung 1.54. So, hanapin nyo muna yung 1.5. So, ayan yung 1.5. Then, hanapin nyo yung 0 0.04. So, ayan yung 0 0.04. So, yung 1.5 at saka yung 0 0.04 represents 1.54. So, ayan na nag-represent ng 1.54 natin. Then, then, kuhanin natin yung intersection between the two values. So, 1.5 and 0 0.04. So, we have 0.9382. So, therefore, the probability is 0.9382. And that can be converted into percent and that is 93.82%. So, the Z-score of 1.54 has a probability of 0 0.9382. 0.9382 or 93.82%. Okay, second example, we have Z is equal to 2.29. So, we will uh, find for the probability of 2.29. So, again, let's go back with our Z-score table. Kuhanin ang mga Z-score table nyo. Puntahan nyo yung 2.2. Then, intersect nyo siya with 0 0.0. 9. So, kuhanin ng intersection between 2.2 and 0 0.09 and that will be 0 0.9890. So, 0 0.9890 and it can be converted into percent and that will be 98.90 or 98.9%. Example number 3. So, we have negative 0.81. So, kung negative man yan, hindi magkakaroon ng negative probability. Wala tayong negative probability. So, as we remember, di ba, sa naunang-unang-unang-unang lesson pa natin, sabi natin, ang probability should be in between 0 and 1 only. Sa pagitan lang ng 0 at saka ng 1. Yun lang ang probability natin. So, wala tayong negative probability. Kahit na negative yung C-score natin, positive probability pa rin yan. Kaya alam natin sinabing negative ang ating Z-score dahil mas mababa sa mean yung ating Z-score. Mas mababa sa 0 yung Z-score natin. So, negative 0 0.81. So, puntahan ng ating Z-score table. Hanapin ang 0 0.8. So, ayan ang 0 0.8. Hanapin ang 0 0.01. So, we have 0 0.01. So, therefore, yung 0.8 saka yung 0.01 is equal to, 8, uh, is equal to 0 0.81. And then, get the intersection. So, we have 0 0.7910. And that will be 79.1%. So, 79.1%. And then, for our fourth example, we have negative 1.78. So... Go to your C-score table, so 1.78, so that will be 1.7, at saka 0 
So, yung 0.08 natin ang mamarkahan nyo. Then, kuha na yung intersection. So, eto ang intersection niya. 0.9625. And then, it can be given in percent again. So, we have 96.25%. So, the probability of Z is equal to 1.78% is equal to 0.9625 or 96.25%. So, that is how to use the Z-score table. Okay now, so it will be your turn. So, practice problems for a probability of a Z-score. So, instruction using the Z-score table, find for the probability of the following Z-scores. So, we have Z is equal to 1.25 and number 2, we have Z is equal to 0 0.94. So, comment your answer down in the comment box. And that will be all. So, see you on our next video lesson.